Okay, so I was deciding whether I wanted to go with earrings or without earrings. I love these. These are one of my favorites, but I don't wear them all day. Um, I just like to put them on for a pop of color. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about things that I purchased that I kind of regret. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a minute, okay? So, um, my first introduction to Gucci was through Gucci watches. I had a guy that I was dating and he bought me a Gucci watch and I loved it because it was Gucci. It had the green and red insignia on it. And a couple of years later, I bought myself another watch and it had like the removable dials. I don't know if you remember those. So based on whatever color you were wearing, you had a whole tray full of watch um, faces, accent pieces that you can add onto it. I think I actually ended up giving that watch to my sister, so I don't even have it to show you. But one thing for me that was really consistent with Gucci watches is its lack of durability. They would just stop ticking. And back then, I don't even know if you can still do it now, but back then you were able to send your watch back because it's authentic. You send it to the store and they would have their people like replace it and get it working again. And I think I tried it one more time with a Gucci watch and it was just not up to par. And here's the thing, a lot of time with watches and sunglasses too, there's like one or two huge companies that make a certain product for brands. So you have a watch company that will make watches for Gucci, for Fendi. And with sunglasses, I know that's the case as well. Um, there's... I forgot the name, it starts with an L and they make watches and they make sunglasses for Gucci, um, Dior and other top name brands. So it's one manufacturer and they're just putting the logo on a certain style. And I think that's what happened with the watches. So I really didn't enjoy the perk of owning it because they were known for their watches not being so good. And um, let me just grab this. And, um, you know, the resale value wasn't as high as it would be, say, for um, a Gucci Mama bag or even one of the old vinyl uh, vintage handbags. So a lot of times when I purchase, and I've said this before, I purchase with resale in mind. Yeah, I love it now, but will I always love it? And if at some point I don't, I know that it has value and I can resell it and it will earn me a nice sum. That's what it's all about. So here, like the Gucci glasses, there's several glasses and I love these. There's several glasses that are shaped like this, just different manufacturers, uh, different brands. And I love these. I love these because they're round and I love them because they cover the top of my eye, the bottom of my eye, and no sun gets in at all. So I love wearing these. I don't wear them a lot because I have several pairs and I like to mix it up. But Gucci sunglasses, I never had a problem with those but the watches they've always been a big regret for me regret i ever saw it regret i ever bought it i'm all the way a handbag a wallet and even a coin purse girl as opposed to loving their watches so that's no shade maybe you love their watches i just don't for me it was a big why did i buy that um, and then why did I buy that several times? The next thing I wanted to talk about is my Tory Burch bag. Now, you know, Tory Burch isn't really a like high resell uh, product. It's not an Yves Saint Laurent. It's not a Louis Vuitton. It's not a Gucci. So it's very 
affordable. Even the leather, I think, is $3.95 or $4.95. But the reason why I regret it is because I love the logo, okay? But this fabric, I don't know if you can hear it, it's almost like a raincoat fabric, and I hate it. I hate, hate, hate it. I like a nice um, clasping lock. But I don't know, it's just something about this bag that I just don't like anymore. I really wanted it. The store, the back story is this. My husband bought me a pair of sandals, right? From the Cherry Bird store. He actually bought me two pairs in black and in white. And the black broke and they credited my account. So I had to buy something else. And I went ahead and bought this bag. So, I mean, it has, well, this is like a pocket. The logo is like a pocket and it snaps. And inside, I mean, I barely use it once or twice. But I just didn't care for it. I I remember, you know, carrying it out the first time. And it's a nice size. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice size. It's not as big as the tote, the pink tote. But um, j I just could not get past that raincoat finish. I mean, maybe I should have bought it in a leather. Maybe I should have bought it in another color. Maybe I should have bought it in a fabric, but mm, I don't know. This was not one of my most favorite purchases. And then resale value, I don't know how much that would be because I think I paid about, was it like $195 or $295? I don't think it was $295. I think it was about maybe $195 for this size they do have a bigger one and i'm thinking about um creating a website where i can let go of some things that are gently used but that people might love and they might want to get you know longevity out of it even though i no longer am in total love with it so think about that. If that's something you, you all will be interested in. New stuff too, because I recently got access this week to um, like, it's like a drop shipper who um, like the Outnet would use and even TJ Maxx. You know, when you go in TJ Maxx and you find nice designer pieces, um, I get, I got access to bundles like that. So if you ladies would be interested in browsing, looking, or purchasing, let me know. And then I might start making space on my website for people who just want to purchase, you know, a nice, cute, reliable, authentic product. Okay. So that's the Tory Burch and I've always been a fan of her clutches. Maybe I should have just traded this in and gotten a clutch because I love the clutch. I love the gold emblem on her clutch purses. That's not bad. And her sandals are cute. I love her sandals, but this bag just makes me like, I never want to take it out again. I almost want to use it in a giveaway, but I don't want to do that because it's not brand new. So maybe... Um, Maybe I'll give it to my sister. Maybe I'll give it to my niece. We'll see. Um, yeah, I was just disappointed with it. Even when I got it, I wanted to send it back. But I said, well, let me use it first because I don't want to be that person that's always like disappointed with everything that she gets. And then when I used it, it was still like mm, not, you know, I wasn't enthused about it. So I don't know. Do you all love Tory Burch? If you do, drop me a comment. Maybe I'll pick someone and say, here, it's yours, okay? Um, lastly, now you know I always say I'm not a Louis Vuitton girl. I'm not even, um, what are some of the other brands? Like a Chanel girl. I'm not any of that. I am an Yves Saint Laurent girl. Like I love YSL, but what I did not love was this purse. So I bought this purse. I love the pattern, the chevron pattern. I loved it so much. And I was looking for something to replace my regular wallet. So when you open it up, you know, it has all these compartments. You can put credit cards, you can put other kind of cards. And then in the middle, you can put money or something you don't want knocking around. And 
one of the things I tried to do was use this instead. So maybe it's my fault <laughs> that I don't love it. Um, one of the things that I did is I started trying to use this as like a clutch, like a purse. I was carrying it everywhere like this. So I'm going to the store, opening it up, taking my, my credit card out, paying for stuff, putting it back in, carrying this, walking here, walking there. And then after a while, I don't know if you can see from the continued use underneath, it just got a little darker. And this part right here, I don't know, it kind of rubbed out a little bit. Like if I was just it was almost like if I was handling this too much. And I don't want to feel like I can't handle the things that I'm using, the things that I love, the things that I carry with me. So I'm kind of regretting this because now I have a purge that purse, well, I have a wallet. It's not a purse. I was using it as a purse, but it's really a wallet. And I was using it as a purse to carry with me. And like I said, maybe I shouldn't have done that and maybe it wouldn't have so much wear and tear. The wear and tear, well, on the ends a little bit, but the same thing, I'm probably gonna end up cleaning this up and putting it on my website. But it's a cute purse but it's for someone who won't carry it like this all the time. If you want something that you can just carry around and go to the store, then this is probably not the one for you. You probably need um, something smaller, which is what I'm probably gonna opt into. I saw a cute Gucci change purse with the um, in the Marmont pattern. And I also saw um, a wallet in the Marmont pattern, but I decided that I probably need to get it in black so that it's not destroyed, right? I mean, I don't even know if you can really see it. Can you see all the little blemishes? I need to clean that. So, you know, I mishandled this and I feel so bad about that. I mishandled this and I love YSL, but this was just not one of my favorite purchases. So again, it's nothing that they did. It's not a defect. It's because I was carrying it around like a wallet. I mean, like a purse when it's really just a wallet. So I wanted to pop in and just share those quick things with you. I still have some stuff on order. I still have um, the intimates um, segment that I want to do because, you know, we don't all, always want to be like, look at my cute top, look at my cute dress. And then underneath, it's just basic undergarments. I found some cute stuff that I really want to share with you all. But again, what do you want to know about? Drop me a comment below. If you're watching, if you're new to this channel, thank you for being here. Our goal is to do a giveaway at 100 and just admin stuff. If you're watching this after we've hit 100, then the giveaway is probably closed. So I'm just thinking about what to give away. Should I just give away this bag? I mean, I can give away this bag and um, maybe some put some goodies in it, some makeup, some cute lip glosses. Just let me know below what you want to see because I want to bring it to you. So I'm excited about a lot of things coming beyond just the um, intimates. There's a bag that I have my eye on. I actually had to go into the website um, yesterday and hit them to notify me when it's back in stock. And as soon as it's back in stock, it's mine. It's fine. So I just wanted to share these two two, three things with you today. If you have any questions about any of the products, pricing, wear and tear, that type of stuff, leave me a comment. I'm excited with what I'm going to share next. Stay tuned and share this. If you know someone who loves fashion, if you know someone who's trying to build a wardrobe, give them the link to the Dom Taraj because I'm coming back with more.